I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. A former pharmacist from the town of Ulster who tried to poison people at the Albany Medical Center because he was upset with a medical bill he'd received is heading to prison. 60-year-old Martin Kimber of Ruby was sentenced to 14 years behind bars today in U.S. District Court in Albany. The former Albany Medical Center hospital patient was caught on hospital surveillance video putting quantities of mercury and arsenic in food in the hospital's cafeteria in a scheme to get the facility shut down. At least one person had to be treated in an emergency room. Prosecutors said Kimber placed the poison on several occasions from March of 2011 to March 2012. Kimber had been employed as a pharmacist at, the, at a hospital in Poughkeepsie. At sentencing, Kimber labeled his past actions, quote, deplorable. A planned reorganization of the state's mental health system could spell the end for the Mid-Hudson Forensic Psychiatric Center in New Hampton. Representatives from the state legislature's mental health committees were holding a hearing at Middletown City Hall today to talk about the changes that uh, would result in the closing of the Mid-Hudson Psychiatric Facility by 2017. Some of those speaking today said the state should make sure any finalized mental health consolidation plan provides adequate community-based access to vital services and programs. Unions representing workers at Mid-Hudson think the governor's proposal will shortchange people in need as well as those currently working at targeted state facilities. We have members we represent who work at the Mid-Hudson Forensic Psych Center in New Hampton and are very concerned. They're concerned about job security. While the governor's plan indicates that he will be able to relocate uh, workers to other facilities, the reality is that for many people, uh, the openings at other facilities are too far away. They can't afford the commute. Or the job might, be, might not be comparable, so they're, um, you know, they may be going to work for slightly less in pay, and it just, unfortunately, they won't be able to keep their state employment. And a lot of times you have people who have years and years in the retirement system, this has been their career, and it causes a tremendous, fi fi tremendous financial hardship. Closure is part of a far-reaching state plan to overhaul services by consolidating 24 inpatient hospitals into 15 regional centers and creating more than two dozen outpatient service hubs. City of Newburgh Fire Department uh, got news of a financial windfall today. The department will be getting a $2.4 million federal homeland security grant that will allow the department to hire 15 new firefighters to not only fight fires, but to conduct code enforcement inspection work. According to Newburgh Fire Chief Michael Vatter, the federal staffing grant uh, will allow the department to return to daily staffing levels that uh, were last seen in the 1970s and early 80s. Meantime, Ulster County in investigators don't think it's suspicious. The fire that destroyed a multi-family house on Route 42 in Shandaken yesterday afternoon. Those inside uh, got out okay and nobody got hurt. Members of 10 area fire companies were on the scene for about uh, five hours and they were hindered by, hindered, uh, by the three-story building's remote location, forcing them to pump water from nearby streams. Saying she's tired of the inaction, Orange County legislator and county executive candidate Roxanne Donnery met with reporters outside the former Camp LaGuardia men's homeless shelter in Chester earlier today. Donnery was there to a call for the cancellation of the county's 2009 purchase contract with Westchester-based Mount Co. Construction and Development for the future development of the long, vacant 250-acre property. Donnery says Camp LaGuardia redevelopment has been plagued by political wheeling and dealing and delays that have held up the recovery of $8.5 million in county taxpayer money. She says it's time for the county to go in a different direction. i uh, like very much to see a, uh, a local development corporation formed uh, with a board uh, that well represented everyone that should be represented in making these decisions. Take it out of the political hands that it's been in because it's been an, uh, a total failure in my opinion and be able to move forward. Um, the negligence in the building is very, very disappointing. The Camp LaGuardia buildings have become eyesores and are frequent uh, targets of vandals. Latest incident uh, came earlier this month when three people were arrested for stealing shelving units from one of the buildings. Elsewhere, a town of Mount Hope man has been charged with attempted murder after police say he intentionally drove his car into a park bench in Montgomery where two people were sitting. 
46-year-old Anthony Trancini is accused of ramming his car into the bench at Benedict Park in Montgomery. That was occupied by 51-year-old Eric Schmidt of Beacon and 39-year-old Jennifer Trancini of Mount Hope. Uh, Montgomery police say Trancini then got out of the car and attacked Schmidt, who was taken to uh, Westchester Medical Center with serious injuries. Anthony Trancini was sent to Orange County Jail on $250,000 bail. And they'll be getting a big send-off at Stewart Airport this Saturday morning. The 98 local World War II veterans who will be part of the latest Hudson Valley Honor Flight to Washington, D.C. It gives the veterans a chance to get a first-hand look at the monuments in our nation's capital, including the one that pays tribute to their service and sacrifices, the World War II Memorial. Honor Flight raises funds to provide the veterans with a free-of-charge, day-long experience. This will be the third Hudson Valley Honor Flight. Committee members are hoping to follow up uh, with future flights for Korean War and Vietnam War veterans. There's more nice weather on our forecast for Friday. Unfortunately, same can't be said for the weekend. Friday will be sunny and warm with temperatures reaching the upper 70s. Then clouds roll in. Saturday will be partly to mostly cloudy with the chance of a passing shower Saturday. And the highs will be up around 75 degrees and there's more shower activity predicted for Sunday. We'll get the news and information to help start your day in tomorrow's Times Herald Record and stay on top of breaking news all day long right here at Record Online. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.